In this video, let's fetch user's device location and show the coordinates on the screen in just few simple steps. So, let's begin. I have already created some boilerplate code for UI and uh, currently it is running on my Chrome browser. And uh, at the end of this video, we will able to get the location by clicking on this get location button. We will use geolocator package for all of the location related services. So let's add this into pubspec.yml file. Make sure you use the latest version. Now it's time to implement device location page. And uh, this is a stateful widget that we have already created. And uh, here we have declared a location variable that will be displayed here and this is the basic UI that I have already created now we have to fetch the location by clicking on this get location button so first we need to import the geolocator package and here semicolon and now we have to create a function that will be called inside the on pressed and this is the complete function that will fetch the location. I have copied it from the official documentation and now let me explain each of the things for you. Here we have declared two variables services inbuilt and permission. In services inbuilt we will assign the geolocator.is services inbuilt. This will check whether the location service is enabled or not if service is not enabled then we will simply return the future error that location services are disabled so because you know always the location is not open some users can turn off their location so in that case we can also here open the location setting on the user device if location services is disabled and simply we will call the geolocator.open location setting this will open the location setting on the user device in the permission we have assigned geolocator.check permission that will get the current permission status of the device of the app from the device and if permission is denied then we will request the permission and again if permission is denied then we will return the error message that location permissions are denied so uh, what if location services is denied forever then in that case we can simply return the error message that location permissions are permanently denied we can't request permission and if everything is okay then at the end we will return the geolocator dot get current position and this will return the position and from position we can simply get latitude and longitude now it's time to call the determine position function and store the position in a position variable so let's create a position variable position and uh, inside the position let's store the value of position that is coming from the determine position function and uh, now we need to update ui so let's call set state and inside set state let's set location to the position dot latitude comma position dot longitude now let's hot reload and see the output okay so let's click on this get location button and uh, here we go we got allow and block option this is requesting the location and here we got our latitude and longitude it was very simple and in the url bar we can see that this site is using location and uh, if we click on the detail of this site we can see that location is allowed so we have successfully fetched the position of user's device if you want to show the actual address then you can use geocoder package i will put the link of these packages in the description thanks for watching till end Feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day. See you soon in the next video.